Hello, my name is Pavlo Gintov. I'm a Ukrainian pianist, and this is the third of the videos that I called Music in the Times of War. And today I'd like to show you a very recent piece that was written as a reaction to the ongoing Russian aggression against Ukraine, and is based on a song that has become a true symbol of the Ukrainian resistance. In the times of struggle, people always turn to art. Songs and poems have been written by the participants of certain dramatic events who conveyed their thoughts and emotions so powerfully that their works became iconic throughout centuries. The most perfect example is La Marseillaise, a war song written by a French military officer, Claude Joseph Eugène de Lille, uh, when Austria and Prussia invaded France in order to put down the French Revolution. Later, La Marseillaise became the national anthem of France and an international symbol of courage and solidarity in a fight against tyranny. During the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, a song called Red Friburna, or in Ukrainian Chervona Kalina, has become widely known as a symbol of Ukraine's fight for freedom. It's not a new song, in fact, it was written over a century ago, and it's been quite interesting to watch its transformation, both musical and symbolic. The author of the Red Viburnum, Stepan Chernetsky, wrote it for the Ukrainian Siege Rifleman, a military unit that fought against Russia in the war of 1917 to 1921. I briefly talked about that war in my previous video. In one of the stanzas of that original song, it says that, quote, we are marching to liberate our brothers from the Russian chains, end quote, which makes it very relevant today, when a big part of Ukraine is occupied by Russia. Many of those who fought for Ukraine in the beginning of the 20th century immigrated to the North America, to Canada and to the United States, and that's why the very first recording of the Red by Burnham song was made in New York. I'll post a link to that original recording below. A few days after the beginning of the full-scale war in February of this year, Andriy Hlivnyuk, leader of a popular Ukrainian band, The Boombox, on his social media published a video of himself singing the first stanza of the Red Viburnum at the St. Sophia Square in Kyiv. Hlivnyuk joined the Ukrainian military from the first days of the war, and in that video he appears in his military uniform. Shortly after, a South African musician, David Scott of the Kifness, made a remix of Hlivnyuk's video, and that remix became very, very popular. A few days later, Hlivnyuk received a message from David Gilmore of the Pink Floyd, who asked if they could use Hlivnyuk's recording for the Pink Floyd's version of the Red by Burnham. It was released as a single Hey Hey Rise Up, and just after a few hours, it was viewed over a million times. At this point, various versions and covers of the Red by Burnham are popping up everywhere. I can't list all of them, but among my favorites are a version sang at the same time by over a hundred of the Estonian choirs, and also a very original version uh, by a Georgian choir and the composer Zviad Bulkvadze. I'll post links to these performances as well. And today I'd like to show you a piano piece which was also inspired by the Red Viburnum song and was written just a few months ago. It's called The Insurgent Song by Yuri Povolotsky. Ukrainian-born composer who currently lives in Israel. He described the structure of this piece as a miniature sonata form in which the Red Viburnum tune plays the role of the main theme, and as a secondary theme, Pawlowski uses another song, uh, Sun is Shining, Svitit Solnce, which was sang by Ukrainian soldiers of the Second World War. By choosing songs from the First and Second World Wars, Pawlowski, in his own words, creates a link between the freedom fighters of those wars and those who defend Ukraine today.
There is one more thing that I find really interesting about this whole red by Burnham phenomenon. Andriy Klevnyuk, when he recorded his video at the St. Sophia Square, he did it spontaneously, he improvised and changed the melody substantially. And those who made their versions afterwards often took Klevnyuk's melody rather than the original one. And that includes Yuri Pavlovsky, who also used Klevnyuk's melody in his Insurgent song. It's like a collective creative effort of people who not only live in a different parts of the world, but also in a different time. Please let me know your thoughts about the piece and about today's story. If you like to support Ukraine, I'll post a link to a charity below the video. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for supporting Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!